Okay, so I'd like to uh, give a little introductory video here on the Sotoban construction um, and some of its basic use. So here we have a 17 rod uh, Sotoban, which means I can represent a num base 10 number uh, of up to 17 digits, which is a really big number. Um, the way the Sotoban is constructed is you'll see we have these 17 vertical rods here and each rod has five beads on it. Um, we have an upper bead here that is called the heavenly bead which has a value of five and we have four lower beads which are called the earthly beads each of which has a value of one. In between, separating them is this bar called the reckoning bar. For a bead to be counted, it must be touching the bar directly or indirectly through another bead. <clears throat> so let's talk before we get started uh, actually using the Sorbonne, how to set it up and how to hold it. So if I'm a, a right-handed person, I'm going to take my left hand, thumb, and index finger and hold the left side of the Sotoban so it doesn't move and you know mess up my, uh, my calculation. Uh, my right hand I'll actually use to move the beads and I'll use my thumb for the four lower beads and my index finger for the upper beads. So how do we set up the Sotoban initially to start uh, a calculation? Well, we tilt it vertically like this so all the beads fall to the bottom. And then we lay it, gently lay it flat again and take our right index finger and we use the back of our fingernail and we run across the top row to push them away from the Sotoban so all of the rods have a value of zero, meaning nothing is touching the reckoning bar. So let's do some, uh, some quick counting. So if I want to represent the number one, I simply move one bead to the reckoning bar. If I want two, I simply move two. If I want three, I move three. If I want four, I move four lower beads to the bar. If I want five, I just bring down the upper heavenly bead, which has a value of five. If I want six, now I need this five bead and one of the lower beads. So I'm going to pinch it together with my index and thumb just like that. So that's the number six. And if I want a seven, I'm going to grab a five and two one beads. So that's a seven. If I want eight, I'm going to grab the five and three one beads. And if I want finally nine, I just grab all of the beads. So those are the numbers uh, zero through nine on any given rod. So a good way to practice um, counting is to push one to the reckoning bar and then clear it and now grab two beads at one time for two, clear it, three beads for three, clear it, four beads for four, clear it, and then bring down five, clear it, and now pinch six, clear it, seven, clear it, eight, clear it, and finally nine. So that's a, a nice little uh, counting exercise to practice inputting all of the digits directly. And you'd be amazed um, if you practice it a little bit how quickly you will gain speed. So there you have it.